Hello, and welcome to the assembly. I'm Hanya, and today we're going to work on web scraping using regular expressions as well as the Python module Beautiful Soup. So, what exactly is web scraping? Web scraping is exactly what it sounds like. It is the process of extracting data from websites. This extracted information is then collected and exported into a format which is more useful to the user, whether it be a CSV file or a PDF or so on. It has now become an essential skill to know web scraping due to its ability to compile larger data sets, which is fundamental to big data analytics, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. Web scraping in its most simple sense is implemented using regular expressions. Regex is a sequence of characters that specifies a search pattern in text, commonly known as pattern matching. Let us take an example of a simple website that I have found here. It has a name and small details, uh, such as the favorite animal, color, and hometown. To inspect this code and find the HTML behind it, we can uh, find the view the source code here, where we have the title to have the profile name and the heading h2 to have the name as well. So now we can start by importing our regex module in Python and opening the URL of the website that we want to scrape. By using uh, the dot read function, we are reading the HTML code, whatever the HTML code of the website is, into our variable. And using the dot decode function, we're converting all of it, all of whatever is read into a string. If we print whatever we, whatever we have read, we do indeed get the HTML code behind uh, the website as we had seen in the source code. Now comes using regex. We have uh, declared a variable which would simply just hold the string which has the title because we want to find the name behind the profile where we have the title and these variables here are for the pattern matching. We do end up using the re.search function where we find this expression in the HTML string that we have converted into and do not take into account the case. Once we group the uh, the data that we have received all together, when we print the refined details as we're finding just the title, we do end up getting the profile to be just the name that we had in our initial view code, source code that we had initially. Beautiful Soup is a Python library for pulling out data of HTML, XML, and other markup languages. Now, we're going to use this Python module as well as the other Python module requests in order to scrape the web. In particular, this website that I have, which is the free Python job board, which has a bunch of details on it, as well as different job opportunities. The first thing we have to do is uh, check the source code. And here we have the entire HTML code that is supporting this particular website. When we search for the heading titles of each job description, we find here that the H1 is used to refer to the job title. Then we have a bunch of uh, span classes which have uh, each particular class as iGlobe, iCalendar, iChair, and iCompany, which has different details of every specific job, as well as a p-type class which has the details that is expected from the job, and so on. And this repeats for every job that there is. Now, going back to our Python code, first things first is we have to uh, use the URL of the website that we want to scrape and make sure that we use the got get dot get function from our requests module in order to extract all the HTML code into our variable called page. And here, if we print out our print page.txt, we would essentially have all the code from the HTML source code. There we go, the same source code that we found earlier. Now, what essential we have to do is that we have to create a soup object in order to use the functions. So we have our soup a variable which uses the page.content from what we extracted earlier and parses it in order to create our soup object. We can use the various 
uh, functions inside our soup object, such as dot select, in order to get the specific HTML tag that we're searching for. In our case here, we're searching for the tag class is equal to job, which is what is required in the source code. In the list of jobs that we have selected, we want to find each and every job in, in a particular order with all of its details together. So we use the dot find function where we extract just the H1 title and put it into our variable. And we could do this essentially for all of them, except we have the issue that uh, the rest of our information, except the detail is inside a span class, which has its own I class. So we would have to do that by using the job dot, the dot find function check for the class to be that particular class and then find its parent so we do the same for the rest of the details that we have and essentially we can put it into a list a dictionary but i feel in this case that we could put all the information we have into a dictionary and then append it into a list so we have different dictionaries inside a list here we have each detail filled in by using the dot text as when we find our function find our html code we want to use only the text that is present inside that html brackets which would be accessed by using the dot text and in order to remove any extra blank spaces we use the dot strip function just to ensure that it just gives us the words that we require having put all of this in our dictionary we can append it into our initial list that we declared outside globally and now we have all our information in order to check the data that we have just collected and placed inside the list of our dictionaries we can uh, run our nested for loop and print out all the values that are inside our dictionary here we have the exact code that was in our uh, website here just uh, displayed nicely and in a proper way we can also, um, instead of just keeping it on our Python uh, console, can change it into a CSV file, as we've done over here. First, first things first, we would have to uh, select our file name and with that open our file using the CSV module that we had previously imported. Uh, we can use the dot dictionary writer dict writer uh, function from the CSV module as we're writing our dictionary into the CSV file and ensure that we write our headers accordingly. So by using the dict writer uh, function, we are inserting the uh, left-hand side values of the dictionary that we had mentioned earlier and write those down into the CSV file as the header first and then row by row uh, put in the values that we have from the list. So if we run this code, we have our CSV file here, which would then uh, essentially be opened as in a proper CSV format. An alternate method to extract our HTML code would be by selecting it based on our container. So if we go back to our source code, we have our divide is equal to container, which contains all the uh, information that we would want to scrape from this website. The jobs, the details, and so on. And we find that the container contains the start of all the information we require till the end as this is the last one. So by using the dot find, we can specify the ID to be the whole container of all the information that we would want and use this really helpful function called dot prettify, which just organizes your HTML code with proper indentation and prints it out to the console here. And then here you could use your regex and so on. Some other functions that we could use would be the find, find all function where we can find all the jobs by specifying the class is equal to job over here. In 
Put a smudge into it here. Class is equal to job, which has all the data for each particular job. And if we print this, we have the HTML uh, tag code for each particular job. So here we have the last one, the one in Washington, and remote contractor here. We could also use the same function, find all, to count the amount of jobs or occurrences of words that we find, say Python, and specify that it's only in lowercase or accordingly. And here we can see that we have four jobs with the word Python, one, two, three, four, and we have our results that find all function, which does find the same. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed our content, please make sure to like and subscribe and ensure that you follow our social media platforms for more.